this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with our lovely blue themed, um, you know, whole book page collage masterboard. That was a mouthful. Um, <laughs> we're going to have a play around with it. I really don't know quite what things I'm going to come up with, um, you know, to make from it, to be honest. Um, but we're just going to have a play around and see what things we can um, make from it. So I have prepared a couple of um, little base kind of pieces. Sorry, just got some acetate there. Um, some base kind of pieces, which I thought we could then make some um, pockets and things like that from. Uh, I've got, yeah, obviously three of those from like patterned papers. And I've got one book page one. And then I've also bought along some gorgeous page, um, which I thought, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. That's like the world's loudest plane now going over. Um, some background page, which I thought, you know, we might use a section of this to make like a journal topper, you know, for like a cover or something like that. Um, yeah, we're just going to have a play around and see what types of things that we can do. So shall we do the journal cover first? I mean, I'm thinking this would make a gorgeous journal topper cover. So I think what I'm going to do in the first instance is just cut this little section out. So I'm just going to cut this around here. Oh, honestly, I can't tell you. This is just so killing me to cut through this because I really love how this looks as an entire piece. And um, yeah it's it's painful to cut through this i have to say well painful i mean uh, nearly nearly impossible for me to cut through this right I'm going to just come down here because i'm not sure how i want to do that bird cage yet so we'll just leave that like that okay so this would be a proposed kind of journal topper so when i'm saying journal topper i'm thinking like the fabric ones that we did so if i just pull one of those in oops like this I'm thinking you know similar type of thing but obviously using the paper instead so I guess it's up to um well I mean I guess it's up to you if you're doing something like this whether you do have straight edges or curly edges you know kind of um yeah I mean we want to have a few layers going on obviously so as we get this kind of effect going on so I think Oh, do I want to tear or do I want to cut? I'm going to go. I'm going to cut it, I think. So sorry, but it was just like a painful process, wasn't it? Um Do I want to cut it? Even now I don't I don't quite know. <laughs> do you know I'm not going uh yeah, I am going to actually, but I'm going to use these these scissors. So let's cut around here. Um, we don't want it too, too wide because, of course, we want to, you know, layer it up. And obviously, if it's too wide, we're not going to have room to, you know, to add any layers because it would be too wide to go on to, you know, any kind of cover. So there we go. Okay, so that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Oh, I forgot to say, I did stitch this on the sewing machine, which I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it on camera, but I just stitched the whole sheet around in random places. So I've got a zigzag stitch here and one here. Um, and yeah, various places on the on the page or on the on the board, sorry. So I was thinking it would look quite nice with this paper. Um and another paper so I'm not sure oh, let's have a look and see what I've got so I've got this one here I mean obviously these will be inked so once they're inked they're going to take on a bit of a different um you know tone to how they look currently okay I've also got this one from oh my gosh how gorgeous is that I love it on there absolutely love it now does it matter that we haven't got a complete piece let's just have a look do you know I'm thinking could we just kind of have it filled in 
like that. Should we do that? Let's just go for this. So I'm going to just ink around the edge here. And again, I'm using my um, walnut stain distress oxide. So we just go around the edge like that. Okay. Oh, I love how that looks already. It's looking so yummy, isn't it? Yeah, really, really, really love that. So, whoops, sorry, flicking my glue everywhere. Uh, just going to, um, yeah, glue this down onto there. And then, I mean, I'm probably going to stitch around this as well, but, you know, in the first instance, let's just glue it down just so it's in place. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it down again with those decorative scissors. Like that. Okay. And then across at the bottom. And then of course up the up this edge. Whoops. Oh my gosh. Just couldn't get my scissors to kind of go onto the paper for a moment. Okay. Let's just see. No. Nope. I'm just trying to fill in that space if I've got enough of the paper left. Okay, got a, enough here, I think. So let's just go across there. Only just, can you see that? Literally just enough to squash in there. So let me just get rid of those bits off the desk. So all I'm going to do is kind of patch that in. So, yeah. And like I say, I'm planning on stitching this anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But we just want to kind of patch it in there. Whoops, like that. Okay, right, let me just now mop up, mop up that excess glue. Oh, where's my wipe gone? Oh, I just threw it away look, with my um, my rubbish from the last video. So, because for me, I'm doing this on the same day that I made the board. Okay. Right, just trim across here. And then just trim down the edge. Oh, I love how that looks. That's so, so, so pretty. Okay. Just spotted this flower that was kind of at the side of the desk. And I thought, oh, I wonder if that would look quite nice on there. Um, right, just having a quick look round to see if I've got some lace bits to pull in. You know me, always got some lace somewhere. So I'm going to ink around here. I mean, it doesn't really need it, to be honest, but guess just, you know, just finish it off with some lace bits. Uh, not some lace, sorry, some inking. Okay. Right, let's have a look now. If I cut this lace down. Oh gosh, come on. See which way up it's supposed to go. Oh, that's not the right lace, is it? That is not the right lace, no. Right, um, okay. Let me just have a look and see. See what other lace I've got that might be better. Uh, oh, what's this? I don't know whether this is going to be Quite right, but that's quite nice, isn't it? It's got a sort of really delicate appearance, which I think is just really nice for this piece. So let's just cut that down. So I think what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to stitch this around on the sewing machine first before I add the lace. So I'll be back in a moment. 
Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and I just stitched around obviously on the inner piece and then on the outer sort of layer as well. Hopefully you can see that. Um, obviously the outer layer is just kind of single, um, you know, thickness, but it is, um, you know, thicker than, it's not just copy paper, it's, I think this is 200 GSM paper, so it's quite thick anyway. So I'm just going to trim off the threads and then what I did was I just dug out one of my little um, wax seals. I mean, obviously this has seen better days. Um, it was one of my early ones, which, yeah, I wasn't too great. Well, I'm not saying that I'm much better now, but yeah, this type of thing does still happen occasionally. But I mean, to be honest, I don't mind it being like that. And then what I thought I'd do, so I've just placed that there and I thought the lace looks better, therefore at the top, if I have the wax seal on. So I'm going to just attach that with the hot glue. I like it sideways sideways on for this like that and then just here just going to attach the lace piece like that okay super 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 pretty love how that looks so, I mean, I haven't really got a journal that I could kind of demonstrate this on, but I'm just going to pull in, again, I'm going to pull in a couple of my mass made covers actually, um, just to show you how this would look. So these are my mass made like fabric covers. So I'm just going to just show you that on the beige one. Looks pretty, doesn't it? And, you know, again, I mean, you could then sort of, you know, pull it in or tie, tie it in by just having you know just a couple of bits of lace kind of maybe hanging out underneath or you know anywhere or anyhow anyhow you like really um you know maybe a maybe a flower or something so that's it on that beige cover and this is it on that blue cover and actually these are just in my box from when we did the mass made covers so i mean I thought it was going to look great on that um, blue one, but actually, to be honest, it's far too grungy, really, for the blue one. But it was just to give you an idea of how it would look as a topper. You know, it really is kind of very similar, obviously, to the fabric ones, but it's just that it's it's paper instead. So that's piece number one. And actually, I mean, you know, you could have some buttons and things like that on there as well. Wouldn't have to just leave it sort of plain. And you know what? We haven't got any on there didn't have any bling. Let's see if we could squash some bling on somewhere. I don't know whether we can, to be honest, but let's just see. Oops. I mean, we could have that there. I'm not sure whether it's quite the right lace, to be honest, to put the bling onto, but that kind of thing. Um, just having a look through my organizer to see if I've got some buttons handy because of course we used quite a few buttons on the, um, you know, when we did the mass made toppers, we used quite a few buttons. So maybe button, a button or two would be quite a nice addition. Let's just have a look. Oh, they're quite nice, aren't they? Do we want them over there or over there? I don't want it to look like I've had to have something in every corner, um, which is a bit of a danger, but and I guess we could have them down the side, we could have them there. We could have them on the frame itself, that's quite nice. Or we could have them up there or down here. Where do we think is best? Um, mm -hmm. Maybe over there. What do you think, over there or over there? Oh, I can't decide. I quite like them, even up there, strangely. Do you know I'm going to put them up there? Let's be really different. Because the obvious place to me is in the corner. You know, one of the corners. So, yeah, let's do something different. And have them up in that. Or on, on that side piece. Okay. Right. So, yeah, love how that looks. Oh, dear. Just getting those glue threads out of that button. Oh, now I've got it. Now I've touched that one, so now I've got them going on on that one as well. Oh, just making a horrible mess of this. Right, 
you pick that glue out. Okay, hopefully that looks a bit better now. Just get rid of that big thread of hot glue there. So that's that one. Really gorgeous. I love that. So, yeah, really nice topper to, you know, ready to use. So, again, let's pull in the collage sheet again and pull in those little pockets that I was thinking. So, yeah, thinking we could have that there or we could have this one here. So what I might do is just come down here with the bird cage. So I'm just going to cut that straight down here like that. Okay, oh my goodness. It's got that lovely thick quality again, you know, like I said about with the floral one, you know, it just feels really nice and thick and sort of, oh, just scrumptious to cut through. It's such a lovely texture. So, um, I mean, obviously not all the layers because like here, we've just got a single layer of book page, but the layers that have got multiple layers, you know, multiple book pages layered up, they feel, oh, just gorgeous when you cut through them. Really, really, really lovely. So I'm thinking what we could do is do this one as like a belly band. So I'm going to tear this edge, just so it's a bit more interesting, like that. And then I'm wondering again, whether we could have maybe some lace or something. I mean, I'm thinking actually maybe this belly band should be the same height as this piece. What do you think? Probably would be better, wouldn't it? So actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch this on the sewing machine. Just going to stitch it across and around. So then it would be like a bit of a pocket as well. So let's just take that down and trim it across. Right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and what I did, I just literally stitched around the top edge and along there and the bottom. I also stitched across this lace at the bottom. And so you've got your pocket here and then you've also got obviously a pocket depending on how you glue this into your book. Now I'm just wondering whether I need to just add a little dab of glue there because obviously those book pages aren't quite glued down. So that it just you know, makes it more durable. Um, yeah, I don't know whether to ink around it, I guess, just quickly, just a bit of inking around the edge, like that. Love how that looks, that's so pretty. And how simple was that? It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So I'm just going to pull in the journal again, um, to show you how this would look, so, or a, a journal again, to show you how this would look on a page. Isn't that just such a scrumptious pocket? So you've just got your pocket here, and then obviously, you know, if you glued it in either these three sides with glue, you'd have a pocket there, or, you know, those three sides with glue and you'd have a pocket there. But I love how that looks. Isn't that just, oh, so, so, so pretty. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Love those colors. Right, so let's put that to one side. Right, so the next piece, let's just move along to kind of the next logical piece because this was the one that we cut off, obviously to get to this piece, if you see what I mean. So again, we could do a very similar thing, but make, you know, a pocket like this, um, which would be quite nice. Just having a look to see, you know, what types of things we might finish this off with. Uh, no, don't really want to use that. So we've got, again, some of that lovely white lace. Thinking this one needs a bit of inking because this, this must have escaped that coffee dyeing kind of process quite a bit because it's not particularly dark. So I'll just ink around it a bit. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut it across at the top a bit, like that. Yeah, and then 
we could just stitch this around to form the pocket. Obviously trim it off at the bottom. Now, if we were to have some lace, I've got the rest of, the rest of this lace. I mean, that's quite pretty, but it is a little bit intrusive across that window. So we could have it at the bottom. We could just have a little tiny bit here. Yes, that might be better. Hmm. I shouldn't have cut that down so much, you see. I sh shouldn't have done that because now I've mucked it up a bit, but never mind. Let's just ink across here. Okay, I'm going to take this across to the sewing machine and, um, yeah, stitch this somehow. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine and what I did, I took my base and I just literally, I stitched across here first on this book page um, piece and then I just popped it onto here, trimmed around it, and I've stitched it all the way around here on the base so that the pocket's attached here. And then I just went down the edge and this is just some decorative kind of seam binding type stuff that I've got that I just thought, oh, it really kind of brings the blue out and looks just really gorgeous, you know, much like this one. So that's that. And then I'm just going to, again, just ink lightly around the edge like that. And then what we'll do is we'll just... Um, glue on a little bit of the lace. Oops, just try and get that back through there. Sorry, a bit fiddly. Right, and I thought that I would put the lace kind of up there rather than sort of right along the bottom, but just kind of a little bit higher. So I'm just going to, again, use my hot glue like that. And we just pop that down. And then we'll just cut that down like that. So super, super pretty. Really, really gorgeous. So that's those ones. Um, I'm going to check how long I've been filming for. I know that I've stopped a couple of times to go to the sewing machine. Hold okay, on. Sorry about that. I'm just conscious of the fact that lately I just keep on miscalculating and um, yeah, end up filming for like you know, an incredibly long length of time. So yeah, I'm just kind of trying to not do that really. Um, okay, right. So the next one is I've got this piece here and I thought we could maybe do just like a little cluster, maybe from this section here. So all I'm going to actually do is tear this out or tear this, tear this off like that. Okay, let's move that to one side. Right, so I'm going to have to cut this down. Um, yeah, let me just decide which way I'd prefer it. So I'm just going to take it down slightly here. Just going to take down the height, obviously, because it's huge now. And then, yeah, I'm probably going to have to trim it down here on the edge. So this little pocket here, I haven't obviously assembled it yet, but I've just folded the paper ready. So all I'm going to do is, again, take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to just stitch around the edge like that and that will be a pocket here. And then this I'm going to stick there like that, sort of, so it's, you know, like a pretty cluster. And then I'm just wondering again whether I want any of this gorgeous blue maybe along this edge actually because that's just so gorgeous, isn't it? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stitch the like seam binding stuff along this section. Then obviously stitch the whole pocket around and then I'll come back and we will just kind of glue this piece on. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine. I mean, doesn't that pocket just look so pretty? I just love it, even, you know, with nothing else, to be honest. Um, so I'm just going to ink around the edges just as we have, you know, with the other ones. So just like that. Don't want to kind of ink all over the paper, but just around the edge. Okay. I love how that blue satin kind of looks against there it just looks so pretty doesn't it okay right and then this piece so I think what I'm going to do is just have it this way round actually so I'm going to just take this 
piece down like that hopefully that's going to kind of fit on there now yep so I'm just going to ink around here just on the edge like that and then we're just going to glue this in kind of tucking it a little bit under there you know into that into that space there oops maybe it will have to go down there oh now I've started playing around with it it's um seeming trickier than ever to actually fit it in oh well I mean it doesn't matter if this overhangs slightly to be honest but actually I could just probably just take it down a bit more and actually I can just cut it because no one's really going to see that side it's going to be tucked into here is the theory right so I'm going to move this out the way now this seam binding I mean I don't really know whether this actually even would class as seam binding to be honest but anyway that's what they were calling it when I bought it and um as you can see it's got a kind of folded edge and the only thing is when you do like a ruffle that folded edge just comes up do you see what I mean so what I'm going to do is just run a little tiny bit of fabri tac down there I mean it probably doesn't really matter that it's coming up but for some reason that is it is bothering me so I'm just going to run a little bit of fabri tac Oops, just along. So that I can fold that over like that. Oh my goodness, this is so fiddly. Yeah, I mean, probably in an ideal world, you would do this before, before stitching this in. Or stitching this on anyway it's fine it's fine it's it's going fine there we go so yeah love how that looks isn't that just so 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 pretty right let's have a look and see I don't know even whether it needs any lace to be perfectly honest it looks so gorgeous just exactly as it is that being said the lace does kind of break up all of the blue if you know, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just going to put just that bit of white lace there, I think. Oops, I could do with a new oh, hot glue stick in my glue gun, sorry. Thought I was going to get away with it, but no. I need to put the glue stick in before the glue is going to work. Oh no, I normally keep some in my, oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, I normally keep some in the drawer thought I was out for a moment. I know I'm not out full stop because I've got my stash of hot glue kind of in a box, but yeah, I thought I was out on my drawer. Okay, right, let's just pop that down there. Okay. Love how that looks. And obviously, you know, could just go along doing the odd couple of bits of glue there just to hold that seam binding you know where I said that those creases kind of want to keep popping up um you know but I mean again not really essential oh I love how that pocket looks let me bring in that journal again and just show you how this one looks because I've got a feeling this is going to be my favorite one let's just bring it in and see so this is that same old journal that I keep bringing into every video that I do as a sort of demonstrator. I still haven't got round to actually making it up. Isn't that just the most gorgeous pocket? I love, 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 love it. So you've got your pocket here, obviously. And then again, depending how you glue it in, you're going to either have a pocket here or if you glued it in the other way round, a pocket here. Isn't that just so scrumptious? And obviously we didn't look at the other one but that's how the other one would look. So again, you know, I would probably put this on this edge, if that makes sense, so that the ruffle is on the outer edge now rather than on the inner. Um, but yeah, and then I would probably stick it down on three sides. So again, you'd have your pocket here and then you'd have your pocket in here as well. So just so, so, so pretty, aren't they? Absolutely love them. Right, have we got time for one more? think we probably have so 
Let's have a quick look. Mm, what are we going to do for our third one? Okay. Um, wondering about this one. Um, maybe we could just make a journal card from this one. I mean, again, you know, you're kind of dictated to really by the shapes and the sizes of the pieces, I think. So, um, you know, this is going to comfortably, you know, make a good size journal card. So, you know, it's just lending itself perfectly to that, isn't it? Just trim across the top. Okay, got a lot of threads there from the sewing machine, but hopefully, you know, that's making it more apparent where my stitching was, because I wasn't sure how well it was showing up previously. It's definitely showing up now. So that's the base there, and let me just grab something to back it onto. Okay, as luck had it, I've got quite a thickish piece of card there. So just some coffee dye card. I'm just going to glue the whole thing onto the background. Okay. Actually, if I do it that way, I think that is a straight, you know, the straight edge of the actual card, if you see what I mean. So again, just spread that out. Now, <laughs> I would normally use my glue spreader. I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to kind of, you know, pull up something that's been glued down, but let's give it a go because otherwise I'm just worried it won't have that nice smooth look. So there we go. Okay, right. And then again, just going to cut this out like that. And along here and then I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine stitch it around the edge you know complete yeah complete stitch around the whole edge okay so I will be back in a couple of minutes okay so I'm back and all I've done I've literally rounded the corners of this and then I stitched it around the edge as you can see I'm just going to ink it up and I just added a little bit of that seam binding up there as a tab which I just stitched across with a zigzag stitch just because that seam binding then ties it right in with the other bits that we have made so and then I'm just going to oops cut those threads just tidy it up like that oops and I did just wonder whether I could have a postage stamp anywhere on here. So just bear with me while I just grab my glue postage stamps. Oh, all purple. No, okay, my blue ones. I don't know whether this is going to be the right colour blue. No, not that one really. Oh, and I've got loads of those blue ones with the Queen on. And, um, you know, the kind of completely blue ones. Can I see any now? No. I mean, I've got these, but they're the wrong colour blue. So I'm looking ideally for those other, the other shade of blue. The ones that were on that purple pack. And, um, oh, that's so annoying, isn't it? I mean, I could do that one, I'm not sure. That one. And what's this one? And see what that picture is of to be honest um oh isn't this just always the way got all of these postage stamps and none of the ones that i kind of originally was reaching for mm, right let me just pull in that purple that purple one again you know purple glass because that did have one of those ones that i meant this one and just separate those out. I mean, it might not even be the right colour anyway. Mm. What do you think? Oh, 
Oh, it's such a tough decision now. I don't know. Ah. Do we think it actually maybe looks better without the without the postage stamp? Because I mean, sometimes you can try and add things, you know, almost like for the sake of it, and um, you know, it actually maybe looks better without it. But I just thought the stamp would be fun. Let me just take the the envelope off. Oh, I could put it here actually, that looks okay. Right, let's just quickly ink that up a bit. Okay, right. Decision made and we're just going to go for it before I can change my mind again. There we go. Right, so that's that one. Okay. Let's clear up and see the bits that we made. Okay, so these are the bits that we made. We've got the topper. We made this little pocket here. We made this pocket, which I absolutely love, love, love how that turned out. We've got this one, which I love even more than the other one. And then we've got the journaling card. And we have still got this much of our masterboard left to play with. So we've still got, you know, tons of opportunity to make lots more different things with what's left. So, um, yeah, I hope that it's given you some ideas and I will be back when we will make some more things with the rest of the board. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Thanks, Anne. Bye.